Hello, Lola's. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, guys. Guys. <laughs> If you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do so by smashing that red subscribe button. Make sure you join the chat box by clicking the link in the description bar. You do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join the chat box. It is $1.99 a month for you to join so that I can get my fries. You guys know I need fries. And there is merch. There's a link for the merch. Yes. And don't forget to click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And for those that may be new to my channel, this is Noah Poo. Noah Poo is the Willow Asleep Sculpt. Um, he is the prototype number two. Um, completed, sculpted, and painted and rooted by Claire Teller herself. And he is the star of the show. <laughs> Um, I've had him, I've had Noah for a year now, believe it or not. That's amazing. It's always amazing when my babies make it to a year because like six months to a year, they're usually gone. Um, usually in the year mark is when they get itchy. If they're still here, it's like, okay, they, they, they can get sold. Um, usually around that time because I don't know, something new is out. Um, then they no longer look like dolls. They start to look just like money. And money is something you need to buy a new doll. So what I do is I go look for the money in my nursery and I sell it. <laughs> but um, I hope that I am able to hold on to my Willow babies. Um, I, as much as I love Claire and I love her sculpting, I love her painting, um, everyone want each one of them is not my absolute favorite and this is one of my all-time favorite sculpts of hers um both and i guess that's why a lot of people have actually copied her dolls um and when i say copied like you know molded them life casted them scanned them whatever they do the copy over the doll but hey that's not my business and you know that's the world we live in in this industry now um nothing is truly really original but anyway um i'm not gonna spend time on that first of all i bought him and nigel these little tights right and i was like oh my gosh these are boy tights right so i was like that's so cute but then i thought about it i was like what do boys wear tights with you know what i mean because i'm like um I was thinking like, okay, because they don't wear skirts or whatever. So I put them on this little onesie. But I think if he had like a cute little, you know, like romper or something, you know, it, it would, he would wear that, you know. And then, is it good to you? Um, he would wear that. I'm trying to see if I can get the light a little bit more closer. But he would wear he would wear that, um, and then wear the, the the tights, and then wear some shoes maybe, I guess I don't know. But um, I just thought they were cute, and they look really cute when he's you know up under here. I mean, it just fits him so perfect because he sculpted so his body is so shaped like a real baby, so he just looks so real in the tights. I was sitting there when I was putting on tights, like oh. But anyway, speaking of real and fake, um, <laughs> a lot of us is here because um, in the community and active in the community because um, the socializing part, uh, meeting like-minded people, people that um, we can talk about the hobby and the the ins and outs and the the teas and the you know. All that good stuff, you know, the good and the bad with someone that, you know, can relate. You know, you can't go and talk to your friends that don't collect dolls about, you know, such and such artists or such and such scope because they don't know nothing about that. So um, a lot of people are active in the community for that reason. Rather, they want to admit it or not, because otherwise we would just collect our dolls privately and move on about our business. Um, some people don't have that interaction in their personal life you know have personal friends so 
you know, they, they, they're looking for a, a deeper friendship. And some people just want the doll friendship type thing. And both is okay. Um, in my book. Um, and sometimes you're just kicking the breeze with someone just talking doll talk. And as you talk, you know, little personal things start to come out and you guys realize you have a lot more in common than just the dolls. And then you kind of click that way. And then next thing you know, you've been friends for months and then years and you know you've done meetups and hang out and you know meet each other families that type stuff and you know you just get really cool and that's that's okay but um you know sometimes you meet people and you think that you're cool and you think everything is great and later down the road road you find out that it isn't what you thought it was um sometimes people are friends with you because of who you know sometimes people are friends with you because what you got um some people are friends with you because of what you don't have and i found in the doll world it's just like the real world where a lot of people have it so backwards they're like you know you can tell a real friend when they um when you when you down and out and they're, they're there for you no I've, I've, I do not believe that necessarily. I mean, yeah, a real friend should be there when you're down. But I found that the, the true friends, the really true friends, the hardest friends to find is the ones that's there for you when you're up. Because a lot of people are okay as long as you down in the, you know, the ditches with them or long as you're on their level or beneath them. But if you surpass them or if or they feel like you surpass them, because for me, in my personal opinion, I feel like nobody's above anybody. Um, but if you and, and if they feel like you got more or your collection begins to grow. And I've talked to several collectors that have experienced this where they're in these particular groups and they have like you know mediocre dolls dolls or their starter dolls and everybody love them and they know their dolls names and they you know they're giving them love and you know they get lots of likes and stuff and then when they buy their first high-end doll um nobody likes their posts people don't want to comment no more you know and you know then it becomes this isolation and you know, it's, it's, um, it's kind of messed up, you know, that way. And, um, but it was kind of cool to hear that other people actually experience, experience that. Um, it's kind of like starting a YouTube channel. When you first start your channel, everybody is supporting you. Everybody think it's great that you got a YouTube channel. Um, you know, you get you get the, the, the nice comments and all that stuff. But as your subscribers grow and um, all that jazz, then you begin to get the hateful comments and then people start to, you know, it just then the trolls come. Um, but that is my thing. I always feel like people that can be happy for you when you're doing well, those are people that genuinely want to see you do good. Those are people that are genuinely usually for you. Um, people that are for whatever you're for at the time when you're going through or you're in the middle of some drama and some people like some people will be your friend just because you guys have the same enemy or the same person, you know, dislike in someone in the community or subject or topic in the community. So you guys agree on that. So for that moment you guys are good but after that it's over um and some people just as well they will dislike you because you comment on someone's video that they don't like or they see you 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 hard at someone's picture that they don't like and the next thing you know you message them or you guys tr you try to chat with them people and they're like being real shady with you because now they're upset about something you have no clue of because all you did was saw something that you thought was beautiful and like 
And a lot of people assume that everybody knows all the background tea. And it's not always the case. But nevertheless, um, I feel like I used to like just don't deal with no one for a while. I just stopped dealing with people. After I was burned a couple times by people that I had spent years talking to and chatting with and calling them my friend and was burned, I just stopped dealing with people. I, you know, people try to talk to me. It was like one word, see you later, bye type thing. But I realized that I'm in this hobby and I enjoy this hobby and I love a good doll chat and I love talking about different sculpts and all that great jazz. Um, just even, you know, the behind the scenes stuff because some stuff I've learned over the years are not meant for my YouTube channel. Um, you know, just like recently I discovered an artist looks like they have copied, you know, a well-known sculptor limbs and I was so disappointed I was sick to my stomach but I can't come on here and talk about that and I can't you know talk to just anybody about that because you know you know how it go I don't need the dolly mob after me but um you know so I realized though that Sometimes it's it's okay to just keep it straight, you know, Dolly, you know, you have to, you know, have to unfortunately realize that anything that you type in a message can be on anybody's platform being published the next day or, you know, no chat is truly private. It can all go public at any time. And, um, so you better own your words when you, <laughs> when you do privately. And sometimes I, I'll say something in a private chat and I ain't gonna lie. I'd be like, Ooh, I probably shouldn't have said that, but oh well, you know, type thing. But, you know, it's just fun. Like if you, you know, like I said, I have particular people that I just enjoy talking to them about what's going on in the community as far as the dolls and, just even different channels. We discuss different, you know, doll channels. And um, I've found a lot of good channels through people sending me links because they'd be like, um, you might like this girl channel. She's pretty cool. Or I think she's pretty cool. I don't know. Have you checked it out? And I'm like, oh, sure. And um, I found a couple, couple of you guys' channels through people, you know, just talking through about, you know, the community and, what's going on and what new channels and good channels are out and stuff like that. So I found dolls that I've never even looked at like sculpts because someone said, Hey, have you seen this sculpt or whatever? So I don't know. I love doll chat. I love, I love, I love the doll tea. I love being in the know. Um, I, I do feel a bit disconnected with a lot of stuff lately because I don't watch as many um, YouTube channels as I used to. As far as um, the doll community, I, I watch a lot of non-doll community um, YouTube channels, you know, and then I'm on Netflix and, you know, all that great jazz. But um, the channels that I do watch, you know, I enjoy and I look forward to the videos because, you know, it's like the community has kind of gotten away from from that stuff. So... It's really nice. This boy is like good and sleep, aren't you? You are like good and sleep. Let me show y'all him in these little tights. He, look at these tights. He is fitting these tights, baby. Y'all can't tell me this boy is not fit these tights. Like he is doing the whole most. Look at this. Hey, that's just so real. It's just so cute. A little diaper butt look. <laughs> yes, baby. He is wearing them tight. But, um, but yeah, so you guys, if you guys have good friends that you guys hang out with, done meetups with, and, you know, you have a discrepancy, a disagreement or something like that, I think those friendships are worth talking it out, you know, you know, however you guys communicate, whether it's just text or calling through messenger or whatever, 
calling each other, talking it out, texting each other, talking it out, working through it. Because, you know, good good doll buddies is hard to find. So I, I think, you know, the worst thing you can do is put your you and your doll buddy business on social media and then expect things to, to, to ever get back or work out. Because if you go publicly and blast your business, now it's not your, just your business no more. It's you and everybody else. And people are going to con continuously feed you negative energy to further destroy that, that relationship. Because a lot of people don't like to see people you know, getting along and, and having a good time. So I think that you should definitely, you know, hold on to that. Um, but if you find that you guys, you know, you, you talking to somebody and you see that you feel like you're not compatible with that person, like, you know, you guys don't have the same beliefs, you guys don't, you know, the conversation is not interesting and not worth it, you know, it's okay if you guys just kind of fade off, you know, no, no blood loss, you know, just, it, it ain't, it ain't it. <laughs> so just, you know, move on. That's fine. Um, you know, I, I, I truly believe that. I believe that sometimes we think that a person is one thing. And as we get further in a conversation, it's like, oh yeah, we definitely don't, we're not on the same page here. Okay. We're in two different books actually. Um, so, you know, just let it go move on and find, you know, something else to do. And when you find, you know, like-minded people, enjoy it. You know, it's just like videos. It's like, I'm watching a video. I normally like this person video, but today I don't like this conversation. Click, click off. Tomorrow might be a better day. You might get a better video. Some of you guys might hate this video. Might be like, okay, why is she talking about this stuff? I mean, I wanna see Noah get his pamper changed or whatever. So anyway, I will talk to you guys later. That is all for today. And I really need to get my behind cracking on this baby head. I, I just cannot get in the zone to root this head. I hate rooting. All right, later.